Hey guys, welcome back to our crazy republic. Hope you're having a great day. They're uh, getting started working on the police station that's going to be over here now. And uh, today, I want to solve this nonsense. I want to put a complete stop to the traffic -y chaos that's happening over here. Okay? Now, before I let you see the UI, just let me tell you. Buying fuel for my republic has been stupid expensive. All right. I have spent more money in the last two videos, uh, I think, than I spent in the entire, like, first 50 videos. It's been insane. So when I reveal the UI, I don't want you to freak out. We still got plenty of money, but we're running really, uh, we're running really, uh, it, it's, it's, we're spending too much. And I have now stopped buying fuel for now because I think it's starting to come together and I'll show you what I mean. Uh, there was another problem with the fuel. Uh, there was another problem and I will show you what it is uh, in a second because we have to solve that now too because we're going to run out of space. Okay, I have been spending bitumen. It's a little bit of a hint, wink, wink. Been spending bitumen uh, paving roads. So we have a lot of roads here. This one's almost done. We got a little bit right there to go. Uh, I've made this road. I did say I was going to make a cross street right through here. And I, so I've made this road here. It's done now and I've made it one way so that the buses will use it. And I'm hoping that the buses uh, will use it. I, I think maybe 10% of the buses do. Uh, I'm noticing sometimes they use it, but most of the time they're still going on that gravel road. So I do need to give them another route uh, <laughs> somewhere. I need to give them another route somewhere. So hopefully we can do that. I'm also paving all the way out here. So we have additional paving that's happening over here. They're, they're laying in the resources out this way uh, to start uh, getting our highway moving out that way for vehicles and stuff too. Okay. And then uh, there was some paving that went on over in Zernowski. There's been some other buildings developing over here. You see some of the buildings are starting to, to get in. They haven't really been doing much over here because of the fuel crisis, but... Um, I've decided to turn them on and let them go again, just to see exactly how far behind we are. Uh, and then they finally finished this road. They're about to finish that one. Yeah, this road's now done. Okay, so we're, o we're okay on this. All right. Here's the UI. Now, the money's actually a lot higher than I thought it was. We must have just sold a bunch of stuff. Uh, but uh, it was under 10 million. So I think we just did a food export. But... Uh, Here's the other problem. All right. Notice how we've got 190 bitumen in here. Really, the only reason that's the case is because I've been paving roads. Uh, and we're about to have to do wear and tear on machines, which is... I'm dreading that because we have no fuel. We'll have to buy fuel at that when that happens. However, I think we'll be able to afford it because this tank of bitumen is completely full. And that means that it's starting to accumulate in our other tank and uh that one is also very full turns out for at least a little while anyway as i totally didn't notice it i think it was like late january early february uh because i noticed it like right at the beginning of the march of march um this thing wasn't producing because it had nowhere to put the bitumen of all the things it's just like hey i can't make fuel for you because bitumen so i started using it and i started you know paving the roads and everything and uh we're also starting to sell it i've got most of the vehicles that weren't, uh, most of the vehicles that were selling it before, uh, that were just sitting around because we didn't have enough, uh, I forgot to turn them on. So our exports for bitumen actually weren't that impressive for a little while. So that's great. We're going to do that. And what I want to do now is this, uh, because I haven't done this yet. We're going to take these three vehicles and you are no longer buying fuel. I said I turned it off. I turned it to load instead of unload. And that's how I turned it off. We're going to take all of you and we're going to tell you to, uh, go over to any of these uh, it's going to have to be this road depot here. Oh, look at this. Oh, I thought we were getting a line here. Uh, I want to tell you to go here. Now, I'm going to go over here and actually going to stop and follow this guy. Or pin that guy. We need to find a vehicle that's selling bitumen at the border. So what we're going to do, all right, we got the line that sells the bitumen at the border here, okay? And what we're going to do is we're just going to take this line and we're going to tell this truck... You work that line now. Okay? That's all we're going to do. And then we're also going to do the same thing with this one. Bop. And this one. Bop. All right? All three of them work that route now. Now I'm going to tell you to go ahead and do your thing. You can do your thing. And you can do your thing. And now I need to actually change them because 
they're going to want to turn around, and I don't want them to. Here we go. And you start there. Okay. Now I'm getting them to go ahead and sell the bitumen at the border. Now, it'd be really nice if I could sell it with a train, wouldn't it? Because there's a lot of it there. I think that would be a really nice thing to be able to do. Let's take a look. So another thing I'd like to do in the future is set up a direct pipeline to our neighbors, because I think that would really take care of it, right? A direct pipeline to our neighbors would be awesome. It's just a really expensive pipe, but I think it's worth it because that pipe will totally pay for itself and we won't have to have the trucks doing it all the time. And then we could situationally sell it where we don't have to pull it from the actual supply tank we're using. We could leave the supply tank full the way it is and then just have it redirected from here. So I'd be able to go and do something a little bit like we are doing over there where, or like we're doing over here, where I can take a pump like this, right? Basically cut this off since we have a huge supply of it anyway. Do the underground pumping station about here, I think. About here. Uh, we probably want to see where this is. Actually, you know what? Let's just do it now. We're going to say right about here. Uh, how, where do I cut this? Let's say, how about here? How about we cut this here? All right. So we're going to have our distribution, our, our, our demolition office is going to take this pipe out of here. Okay. We're also going to get something else for demolitions because again, I want to solve this problem. And so we're going to say that I want this walking path to go away. And we're going to replace that walking path with one right here, just temporary. Maybe they'll walk around and get to that one now. I really don't know, but I want them to be able to get to the sports complex. And it looks like that's what they're going to do. They're going to walk all the way around. Well, that seems silly. Let's give them another temporary walking path from here to here. Let's say now you can just flow into there, my citizens. And uh, we'll have the demolition officers come out here and take care of these two. All right, let's make that a higher priority. So I really want to solve this problem. And then what we're going to do <clears throat> I'm hoping I could do is I'm going to take this road and I'm going to connect it. And it's, it's not going to connect straight ahead because this walking path is here. Unfortunately, I could move that, but I'm not going to. Instead, I'm just going to go sideways like this and connect to here. Then make this a one way street. And then the final step on that is to say, put a sign on this road right here. Uh, well, do I want to do, I want to do that? Yeah. I mean, I kind of do. I'm going to put a sign that says no buses basically and see if they do it. But I'm hoping I won't have to do that because I'm hoping what will happen here is I can do a one way street that way. And then maybe a one way street here would be okay in that instance. And if that does work, then the buses would all be getting on the freeway here before this intersection. And I can probably go back to yields here. We'll see. Uh, so this one's going to get done really quickly. And then there's that. All right. So we're going to start selling bitumen now. And I'm hoping our budget goes right back up. I'm hoping we get to see things just soar right back up. So we'll have to check in on it. Um, and then we're breaking down this pipe. So what I want to do with this, because bitumen is out of control, is we are going to, once this is out of the way, we're going to place an underground pumping station. Uh, one of these that splits in this direction. All right. And then once it's placed, first I have to make sure I place it in a, in a position where the pipe will connect here. Uh, I believe, I believe this would be, this would be acceptable. I, I think I have to get rid of that pipe even further though. We'll see. Uh, it just depends on these guys. I think they're out of the way now. So if I go like this, can I connect this the way I think I can? Uh, uh, no. Uh, okay. I think I understand. So we're going to take you away. They still need to remove this, uh, but this is above ground connection. All right. So I need an above ground uh, pump here. So. We're going to go with the pipe pumping station here. And then I need it to be uh, about here, right by that power pole, unfortunately. But if I put it here, can I connect you? See, it doesn't look like it's going to let me because this isn't done yet. I still need this to be out of here. So as soon as they do that, then I'll, I'll try to do that. So we'll, we'll keep them going. Uh, we'll keep the 
keep the people rolling here. And, uh, and then we'll try to put this in. I don't know if that's actually going to work yet, but there's no road connection to it yet, so we'll let it go. Uh, over here, do we get the walking path done? Yes, kind of. They didn't do this yet. They still need to do this one. Two work days, man. It's crazy. You'd think I could just tell someone to come on over here and do it, you know? Two freaking work days. But it's a heavy place. Heavy, heavy traffic place. So we'll see. Um, I've also replaced a lot of vehicles lately too because uh, I just don't have the... I, I don't have what it takes to fix vehicles right now. That, that needs to be addressed. It does. There's a lot of problems that are still pending, but I just don't have what it takes right now. Uh, let's take and buy some new police cars. And uh, let's buy... Uh, you know, I, kinda, I like these Ukrainian ones. Let's just buy these ones. Buy a whole bunch of police cars. Okay, so more police cars. Means more police. Means hopefully we solve more crimes. I don't know, we'll see. Let's connect you to the new police station so we can have that provided with fuel and they don't have to go to gas stations to get their fuel. This does work. I don't know why it was uh, disconnecting itself before, but it totally works. It definitely works. This one can probably be a yield. It was it was kind of acting up at one point, but I think I, I think it's probably okay to make this one a yield. I th I think. Um, we're gonna put we're gonna put it like this for now, just to see how that how traffic handles that because it's not really that busy. We, I think we'll just let that go for now. Uh, okay, so as the police cars get in here, which is not happening yet, but as they get in here, we will then have more people available to try to find all those criminals and get them into the courthouse, which had 13 of its cases hit the statute of limitations last year. 13 of them. Which isn't bad, but considering we should be able to provide a lot more cases, then that is, you know, it, we could we could do some better work there. All right, can you, can you actually connect there or no? It looks like no. All right, so we're gonna have to get rid of that. And we have to find the right spot for this to go. So I'm going to turn it this way. And I really don't want to have to remove that power cable. But gosh darn it. It looks like I'm going to have to. Unless I can put it somewhere else. Can I put this pump somewhere else? I don't really want to. There's not really anywhere. Else. I guess I could put it here. But that just makes the pipe even longer to get back that way. And I don't think it can reach. I could put it over here. Hmm. Maybe over here. That wouldn't be too bad. And then I could send the pipe that direction. It, it's, it's possible. Um, if I placed it here, what does this look like underground? Because obviously I'd start above ground on this one. And then dip under. And then from there... It doesn't look half bad. It has to go through this mess. So I'd have to move it over here eventually. But that's this is over here is where I want this uh, this pipeline to go. All right, I'm looking for the oil pipeline. And in this case, it's going to be a bitumen pipeline. But that's what I'm looking for anyway. Um, yeah, the other idea, I suppose, if there is a connection point for it, which it doesn't look like there is because these are all joins. I guess I could have thought ahead and maybe did it this one differently, but that's okay. Um, I think the solution, the real solution here is to cut this damn power and get these posts, these poles out of my way. Damn. We're going to have a problem with power for a little bit over here. All right. Demolition crews. Please do this job. Uh... This is a high priority for all the demolition offices. So please just get this taken care of. Uh, Charlabinsk, West, and I'll bring Cernikova over here to do this too. This is everybody involved in this, in this project, okay? Let's cut these lines and uh, we'll lay in the pipes that we want. And then uh, we'll have to uh, reinstall the power. Let's also pull this back now because I, I have to. So we'll pull this back to about here, I think gonna be better so it'll connect right next to that substation now 
and uh again just make sure it's on the demolition offices yep we'll make that a high priority just in case all right come back over to here and uh our walking paths are kind of getting taken care of in fact this one is done now i can i can technically just remove this so we'll just do that and then i want to see this road it's gonna go right here is what i think we're gonna do so we're gonna go like that and then i could go like this but that's a walking path so i'd have to go i can't i can't it's just because it's a walking path i'd have to go somewhere else with this path maybe it's possible to go across here i don't know we'll see let's see if we can make this work it can go there that's fine and then you can go on this side over here actually can you just can you just no no how, how about from here how about there can you do it there how about there all right you're just gonna be that way fine we'll have you connect to wowzers i'm gonna donate you to a community college i'll put you on that side all right get rid of that and then can i now remove this node thank you thank you and uh i can now do this which is really sloppy not gonna lie it's a really sloppy way of doing it uh but i think it'll work i'm gonna do that okay so we'll have these roads now be a new project for my road crews to get over here and, and work on uh, i don't think i'll need workers but just in case on that side I'll, I'll go ahead and do that all right back over to our bitumen tank well it's not really a whole lot to do with the bitumen tank yet i can pave this road god i want that update so bad maybe i'll hold off on the next video until that update because like like i really want to just have this be two projects it's gonna have to be one project but because i can't remove this road because the walking path so i can't remove the road but uh man would i love to just i guess i could always connect the road here and then i could remove the road but regardless i i still it's, it's one two three four projects instead of two just because of the, the walking paths it sucks all right you know what? i'm gonna have to let these things go all right let this timer actually this it's not out of the way yet I, i'm gonna have to let these things clear before i can do anything right there there we go come on can i place it now tell me i can place it now if i go pipe pumping station and i, I want to go i want to put it right here this is the place man right there so as soon as it lets me do that then we're in right yep like this like it needs to be over a little bit more like this i think will be acceptable now if i do that can i get this pipe to come down right away it needs to come down like right away like right there all right and then from there it needs to go underground and connect to anywhere over here so we don't really need to connect disconnect this pipe all the way back that far i thought i would need more room but we didn't need to go that far so that's my bad we'll end up taking more time and resources than needed but it's fine uh sometimes these things do have a a, a difficult time connecting under the roads and stuff so but regardless it's a waste i didn't have to do it that way all right so now we need to have this reconnected like that does that actually work wait can you just building in the way god that would have been cool though huh that almost worked all right i'm gonna have to put it like some other infrastructures in the way eh bull baloney oh you know what we could do hold on this is a 1.5 right yeah you know what we could do we could go one four five here and i could just go like that it's pretty dirty i <laughs> it's kind of a waste too because like now we need extra work days and i lose 0 0.05 but you know what saves me from having an extra pole so we're just gonna do that <laughs> instead of it being 1.5 it's now gonna be 145 to this area but i don't think it matters we're not pulling a lot of juice there so it's fine 
We also have a reconstruction in progress. Uh, you know, not sure why the construction office isn't on this. Why is the reconstruction office not seeing this? Are you not con Oh, you know what? You're not connected. I do this constantly. I, I've actually had, um, where was it? It was, a. Uh, I had to rebuild it. It's one of these, uh, sewage thingamajigs. I don't remember which one it was. One of these things over here while I was dinking around and doing the time lapses and stuff. I had one of these collapse, like just the building collapsed. It's this one right here. Maybe. Yeah. Uh, I think it's this one, but from before, uh, it may not have been this exact one. Cause this one looks like it's just needs two more work days. Uh, and the reconstruction office should be coming over here and doing this because reasons, but it, it basically these things, all these things can just collapse, right? If you don't maintain them. And so you go over with your walking path connections. And if any of these things have, you know, like a little dude that's saying, Hey, you don't have a walking path connected here. If any of those have like these symbols and, uh, and you know, you don't connect it, then the reconstruction crews can't get to them. And they just, they just collapse. And I've had a couple, oh, like one of those happen. Uh, like a lot, it was a long time ago. It was like many, many videos ago, but still is, I was just like, huh, wait a minute. That, that, that happens. So like situations like this, where the, you know, the substation is trying to be under construction, but nobody's starting it. It's just because there's no road connection there yet. They can't bring the resources needed to reconstruct it as the road connection's not done. So now that I got the road, here they come to save the day, bringing all the reconstruction materials in and then the workers will come and finish the job. All right. So anyway, can I get, uh, can I get some good people on this task, please? Uh, we need some people on this task. Submit the, uh, the pipe down below and then uh, get this pipe from here. Wait a minute. No, don't you dare. It's cause it's like the underground is right next to the, all right, hang on, hang on, hang on. I've already done the gravel. It's, it's fine. All the gravel is already done. I don't need the steel. We're not going to do the pole. It's fine. Just, just do the pipe. So should be able to go underground immediately with this. Yes. And then go here to there, but that doesn't actually connect because of the power. So I need to drop it lower and then from there, go underneath this and then from there, pick it up and go, come on. Don't you dare. Other infrastructures in the way, whatever. You suck. You suck, game. Ugh. I hate this. I hate how I like if you end and there's like something directly above it, say this road, for example, you can't connect, right? Might be able to solve this just because it's a dirt road now. But get rid of that dirt road. You should be able to let me connect now. Yeah, right there. Now this is going to serve as like this above ground access point where they're going to need to access this and I probably won't be able to build the road until it's done. Let's see. Oh, I can. Okay. And then I can still do it. Okay. So it can't connect it while the road's there, but once the road is built, then you're good to go. All right, good. Okay. Let's get construction crews working on these things. I might even get helicopters involved. No, I won't. Cause I, it doesn't work that way. Fine. I won't get helicopters involved. But at least give me. Oh, don't do that. There we go. How about now? You like that? I'm not really sure why this was there, but I'm going to re reestablish it anyway. I mean, you can always go this way. 23% on that one and 23 on this one. That makes sense. All right. Can I get, uh, Yes, thank you. And all the labor, please. Thank you. All these things. All right. So when this is completed, we will have reestablished the... Well, I don't need this one anymore, do I? Silly. Don't build that. We will have reestablished the pump and, you know, the relationship between these two things. And we will now have the pump from this side uh, going directly to this pump and then over. Now, why am I going pump to pump, right? Why not just take the pipe directly to there, right? That might be a question you're asking. 
And it's because I want prioritization, right? So how does prioritization work? Well, I'm glad you asked. What we're going to do <laughs> is uh, we're going to make it to where when oil cannot go, or in this case, bitumen, when bitumen cannot go this way because this tank is full, then it gets deviated and goes somewhere else. Okay. And I can't do that unless it's being done at a pump. So it's one of these things, right? And in this case, this pump here, I can do multiple ins, but I can't do multiple outs. So this is not going to work as far as like a conditional export. So I need one that has multiple outs. And that's what this one is. So we're going to send it in here and we're going to send it that way. And it's going to prior be prioritized to go that way. And it will always go that way towards our own supply until our own supply is completely full over on this side. Once that happens, it will then go the second direction. And the second direction is going to be up this way, right? We're going to send it up this way. And uh, the pipeline that we'll be doing, uh, I don't exactly know right where it's going to go, but I feel like it can go right alongside here like this, right? You can just make it hug this area, right? Or just have it go right along the highway even. Hell, can it just go right along the highway? That would be super cool. Can we just go? No, I, I can't. I can't do that. It's got to go on the side of the highway, which is probably still fine. It's equally as cool. But, you know, it can be too long. So we're going to need pumps to continuously push it out, right? Um, but we won't need any tanks on the way. Just just the pumps is fine. Because it's going to be an, it's gonna be an export right away. So how do we do that? Well, here's foreign pipeline connection. All right. Now you have to research this to get a permit for this. And as soon as you build one, then you have to research it again to get another permit. But I've already researched it. I have a permit. We're going to do it. So right over in this area near the border, I'm just going to do one of these. You can only place these on the border. But once you get there, so somewhere over like this, for example, that's fine. And if I want this to have better fire coverage, I suppose I could probably put it over here, but it's going to, I want it to go along this highway. All right. I'm trying to get it to go this way. So maybe I come over here and I just go whop like that, right? This is going to serve as a border connection in which we will export immediately with no trucks or power or uh, other than the pumps. None of that stuff. No costs. Just send it on the way, right? And so we can go ahead and get this connect to the highway over here on this side. And then that's not really going to help us for fire. So I have to go like this. So we'll have... The, the dirt road go like this. That just doesn't look good. I don't like that. I've decided I don't like that. I'm going to get rid of that and go like that. Make sure these roads aren't done, aren't messed up. Nope, they seem fine. Okay. Uh, new plan. We're going to come off of this road. And then we're going to end up paving this road too. We have lots of bitumen. Why don't we pave the road? I think that sounds like a fantastic idea. Thank you for recommending it, Charlie. You're welcome, everyone. Uh, right here. We're just going to pave this road and uh, we'll pave this one too. And we'll get, uh, hey, you know what? Let's get the rural people out here. They were doing such a great job paving roads. We're going to have them come out and do it. After all, it is just a fairly short drive from here all the way out on the big highway to get this one done, right? It's certainly a shorter drive than what these guys way over here have to do. So that's going to be fine. We'll have them pave this. And then uh, once that's completed... We'll have them uh, take a gravel road from here. We could probably just come off the... Why don't we just come off the roundabout? Honestly, it just makes it accessible for everybody. I'm all right with that. And we'll come down here with a gravel road. And then bop right there. Okay. And then we can have the... Uh, eh. Eh. We have a lot of dumpers on group three, actually. We'll just have group three do it. Group three's got like, I don't know, eight dump trucks. So, uh, all right. right. We can look at power. A little bit of flickering over there, but otherwise seems fairly stable. Looking pretty good. How's my power? How's my power? 14 people and 17 people. Well, that explains a lot. We need to also start remaking our power lines too. I got the 18 megawatt coming through here, but this is still 15 on this circuit. And the 15 is what's going into this, which is then providing power over to... Uh, Zernoski, and this is 71%. See, this is what I'm talking about. If they can't get here, they won't do it. And so for some reason, they're not getting here. And that's most likely because it's too far away for their auto search. 
So I'm going to have to remember that. Uh, you can get helicopters to do this stuff too. You can get helicopters to be involved in reconstruction, but God, I feel like that's a waste. I don't know why. I, I just feel like that's like, okay, really big, expensive million dollar helicopter spending an absurd amount of fuel to go and do reconstruction. Gross. But on the flip side, uh, if this collapses, then half of Zernowski loses power. Oh, sorry. Half of Cernakova, not Zernowski. Half of Cernakova loses power. So maybe it's not that gross. Maybe it's not that big of a deal after all. Maybe I should get another reconstruction office over here just for stuff like that. You know? Maybe we're going to do that. I'm going to say six vehicles should be okay. You know what? Let's do, let's do 12. I'm, I'm, I'm extending this out a little bit. Let's do 12. And uh, we'll put the reconstruction office maybe over here. Uh, maybe over here. So it's like right by the 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 prison. You can maybe st stick it like right here. That's not super bad. I'll put it here. And then uh, we're going to change this to a gravel road because it's just no reason to overspend here. And we'll put the gravel on that side too. And we'll let, uh, let the good people of Cernakova have their labor on this. And then we'll send group two over here to do the gravel roads. These are dump trucks from house three right here, or construction office in group three. Technically, it's construction office four, but they're in group three for me. And there are these double, there's these big dump trucks with uh, the big trailers and stuff. So if I ever have anything that's like a really long road, you might see me when I'm like designating things. I usually come over here and I'm like two and I do this and then three and I do this. There's a different arrangement of vehicles in these two things. And they're just like in my head and how they work. Um, but essentially I can split their jobs so that they both do their own thing. Or if I have something that's particularly big like these, uh, I could say, Hey, how about both offices get involved or something? Right. And then I can get both in both offices involved in uh, different roads as a part of it. And uh, it just works that way. Now, it looks like this was going to be a highway at some point. So I might want to consider having uh, this road come out and go right along here. It seems like a good thing to consider, doesn't it? Doesn't it? I think it does. But let's do it as a let's do it as an asphalt road, because why not? Yeah. And then we'll just bring it over here like that. Because we can. That's a walking path. We can remove that. Excuse me, walking path. Uh, we have to make sure we put it back though and we put it all the way back and like this and then you connect here is the idea uh wow you are going to be difficult with me no problem i can be difficult right back there you go fear my difficulty there you go and then there's this this big road all the way out there and then eventually it goes to this part which honestly it doesn't it's not that busy but it might get busy later trust me because we're going to expand. This is going to happen. All right. <laughs> Eventually, it'll get busy. Um, but it's um, not yet. You know. Uh, how about we just go all the way out, right? Yeah. We'll pave it all the way out to the border. That's just we're just using up the bitumen, right? We have it. And now this is a relatively larger job. So we can have both construction offices come out here and handle these things. Right. We we'll just get both of them on it. No big deal. But all this gravel and stuff moving out this way and we get our pipeline connection right now the pipeline uh real real quick oh, hold up hold up let's check out our our existing projects here uh okay here we go this is using it i think this is gonna be great now we're gonna take this road and make it a one way from here all right now we want to do is we're gonna say that the buses uh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> Did I just move the problem from one place to another? I don't think so. But maybe? <laughs> it's possible I just moved the problem. Uh, let's give this the right of way. But see these guys? Like, what are they doing right now? Are they waiting for this light? Okay, we need to change this to a yield now. And we'll give the main road the right of way. And we'll see how that affects things. So with the main road having the right of way now, these buses can leave, but they only do so 
Oh, you know what? This needs to be... Yeah, 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 yeah. This needs to be the same intersection. There we go. And then we want it to be like that. Like that. Yes. Like that. So let's see if that fixes the problem. <laughs> I have no idea if this fixes it or makes it worth. I'm, I'm just like imagining that this is a roundabout. Okay. Like this is not, it's not a circle, but the same rules apply. You enter into it. Once you're into it, you have the right of way. Everyone on the outside of it doesn't have the right of way, etc. right? The same rules are applying here. So we'll see if it matters, but I'm hoping that this makes traffic more fluid because these guys can actually line up beside each other now. Not that they will. And apparently they also phase through each other, which might just be, uh, might just be an okay thing. But see, now they can turn onto here the same time everybody else does. I think that will solve the problem. But again, I don't know. We'll ha just have to find out. And then uh, we might as well just pave this road now, right? Since we can. Just get rid of these two little things here. Hang on. Get rid of that. And get rid of that. Here we go. And pave this. So just get that paved too. Put three. Uh, put two on that one. Two on that one. Who's got more rollers? Uh, I think they do anyway. You got more asphalt rollers? How many rollers you got in here? Uh, two. Two rollers, two pavers. Oh, you're the one with a bunch of... Oh, wait, maybe... Do you guys have the same amount of dumpers now? Did I move that around? How many dumpers you got? This is this is group three right here. Those big, those big dump trucks. Yeah, yeah. So, like, really, three is more equipped for asphalt roads and everything, too. Like, these are these are all newer vehicles. These ones are still most of the older ones and everything, so just haven't really replaced them very much. It's like 30 years old, right? This is the first office. 34-year-old vehicle at 100% wear and tear, and it's not auto-replacing itself. See what I mean? Not auto-replacing. Not sure why. Replace. It just won't do it. This is an open-haul vehicle, too, so what I have to do is you have to go like this. And, oh, you know what? You know why it won't do it? Here's why it won't do it. I, I'll show you right now. If you, if you ever had this problem yourself, and it, it won't it won't do it from this uh, menu here, chances are the type of vehicle it's trying to change to is no longer available at the border for you. All right? If you have the same rules I do, where vehicles, once they're the end of their year, they're no longer available, you can't buy them anymore, then that can probably happen. So what I need to do now is I need to look through the list and find this vehicle. And chances are, when I find the SKD 706 RTTN open hull in this list, that I won't be able to replace it because that vehicle is not available anymore, right? So now I have to select a new type of vehicle to replace this with. And so this vehicle has uh, 13 tons of steel capacity as an open hull. So what I'll probably do is find something that travels faster and can haul almost as much. So here's a good one. Um, although it's 55,000. It's a bit on the pricey side, if I do say so myself. Uh, not as pricey as these ones, though. Jeez, these T813s are really very, very expensive. So you can change it to the RT open haul. It's smaller capacity and the same speed. Mm, I think I'll, maybe we'll change it to one of these. 95 and 17. That seems like a pretty decent upgrade, but it's still way more expensive than this one. So I think this one's the winner. It's just that this one has a trailer, so it's really long. Take up a lot of space on the road. Here's a good compromise. It's cheaper. It's It's got less length, and it travels faster with the same capacity. I think that's a good compromise. We'll do it with this one instead. So now that I've selected a vehicle that can that it can be replaced by, then if I let time go, I'm hoping it does it automatically. And it does right there. So it'll take care of itself because it can be replaced. So we just have to go through these. Like these police cars can't be done, right? So we'll go ahead and do this. Now all the police cars that are too old, they'll get replaced. These T138 mixers, uh, they're just mixer trucks, right? So we have to find a mixer truck to replace this with. And in this case, we're just going to go with, uh, uh, how about these K, KMZ mixers here? That's fine. 
So now all, the, all these vehicles will auto replace themselves. And that's where my money is keeps going, right? My money keeps disappearing because of vehicle replacements. Because I'm just buying them instead of building them. And they're automatically, uh, you know, going to the scrapyard here. It's like this mixer needs to be replaced. This truck here is a covered haul truck. So we can maybe replace it with this one. That's fine. Uh, all the tractors that are in this list, they all need to be, they need to be swapped out too. So uh, we'll go with that one. And then this police car we'll just replace with uh, here too. We'll just kind of get all the ones that are from the Ukraine. It's fine. Uh, these excavators, we can replace them with... Uh, see, the, not not available anymore, right? And then some of, sometimes these are, you know, with dollars. And if that happens, you'll only be able to replace them if you have a border connection with the West, right? So like this one here, for example, this is for dollars. So I just swapped this out to an excavator that I can't replace it with. It's going to cost dollars. So it won't actually replace itself because I don't have the connection for it. So I, the only thing I have access to is this one. It's an $85,000 uh, excavator. But it's the only one I have access to because it's the only one that costs rubles, right? And so now when they automatically trigger, that guy just replaced it. There he is. There's my replacement. They go and drive themselves over to the scrapyard, which is right here. And you see there's a helicopter over there too because, because I put it over there. I don't know. <laughs> I have no idea what happened to this. How come this thing's in there? Why are we replacing a helicopter, an M10 of all things? It's 80% wear and tear and it's eight years old. Excuse me? Why? Why are you over here? Go get repaired. Did I have a wrong vehicle selector or something? That was going to be very expensive. It, something else? Wow, that's very expensive. I don't know how that happened. I have no idea, but I'm, I'm in the process of scrapping an M10 cargo. Okay. Well... That's probably another place where my money went. I, pro I probably purchased another one of those suckers. I bet there's one that's brand new. Did I just do that? I bet there's a couple that are brand new because they they get purchased right when you send them to the scrapyard, not when they get scrapped. So I bet there's another helicopter somewhere in here that is brand new. Son of a bitch. <laughs> yeah. God damn it. Okay, well, that was a very expensive mistake. Uh, uh, MI-10 car. We have two brand new MI-10 helicopters. I'm going to get investigated, right? Somebody in my cabinet is going to be like, I think the boss is embezzling money. <laughs> I think the boss is misusing the, the, the people's funds, okay? <laughs> we have to do something about this. I don't think he knows what he's doing. All right. Now, what are these trains doing? Why are you guys stopped? What's what's the deal here? What are you, where are you what are you doing? Yeah, and I, I know. Where why are you waiting all of you with no workers? Is this a track builder thing? I don't think so. So this thing is You're trying to go the wrong direction. All right, help me out here. Why why are you trying to go the wrong direction? What? What are you doing? I switched the signals so that you would go the proper direction and you came in here and you're trying to I I don't understand you make no sense can you go further can you just go further to turn around completely and go the right direction like what's the deal you don't have to stop there do you like, don't stop there just go a little bit further so you're out of this intersection son of a gun Let's try this. Oh, no, ah, uh, no. Oh, my. You know, trains are pretty silly. Can I, uh. I can't control H it or anything either. I can't control H it. I could sell it and lose more money. Or I can switch all these signals. <laughs> There's no way for it to turn around, though. I've already removed the crossing. The crossing was over here. Like, this is done. I just, I got this completely behind me now. Why did this train do this? The only thing I could think of is it missed a signal when I was flipping them around. They're all facing the correct direction. 
I mean, even if they weren't all doing it in the middle, as long as the ends... I mean, you have to have a, a way. How did you... You have to travel from this direction to get here. So at some point, you came this way. You decided to come this way, and then you went, oh. I'm going to go in here now. That's pretty much what... I missed this signal. This is the signal I missed. Because this should have went like that and like that right that's what should have happened and that's why it's messed up but he won't go here to reset his position because he he can't cross this boundary line that's why he's stuck Well, I'm just about annoyed with you because <laughs> I can't get you out of there. You're not supposed to be doing that. I, you're not supposed to come from that direction and then decide to try to go back the other way. So I didn't have to build on their track to get you to cross over. And that's silly. So if I try to go home or depot, that's not going to matter either. Cause it, his problem is he's not allowed to go on the track that he wants to go on. That's his only problem right now. And he's just going to be completely, I honestly, at this point, I'm making enough money where I'm about to ride to just replace this fool. I get rid of this locomotive and the problem's solved. That's it. And then I need to get rid of this crossing too because it's that's that's definitely not something that I want to have here for a long period of time. I need to get rid of that too. Same thing with this. I need to I need to get rid of this crossing too, which I know the train's on it. I'm just gonna sell it. I, it's a terrible waste of money, but I mean I. I it, it, it's, to get another train out here just to build a little crossing for him to get out on the other side of the track is is not worth it all he has to do is go this direction go further so that your back end can fully clear this signal and then you can just proceed that way that's that's really all that matters here but you won't go far enough you you just won't and i don't get it can i just turn you around you won't go far enough it's kind of silly isn't it I think it is. So I'm just going to do the lazy way out. I'm just going to sell his ass. <laughs> I don't care. I'm just going to sell it and we'll replace him. I don't even know what, what route he had, but I'm going to replace him anyway. Uh, buy a new vehicle. Have to do diesel still. All right. So we're just going to choose the cheaper one here, I guess. I'm just like dinking around trying to figure out which one I want. Uh, I'm just going to choose the cheaper one. It's the T3M2. That's fine with me. And, uh, you know, the hell of it, we'll just get two of them, because why not? Let's just get two of them. And um, then we need to buy a bunch of passenger stuff here, too. So, uh, real quick, check the used market. See if they have a good, real cheap track builder. They don't have any tunnel builders or anything, so that's not that. Uh, do they have... Uh, it's not a bad, it's not a bad idea. 22 years old though. Uh, this is not bad. I'm gonna buy one of those too. <laughs> Screw it. Uh, and then we're gonna say I want passenger wagons. One, two, three, four. Mm, yeah, that's good. And then for the other one, we're gonna actually go ahead and get uh, cargo cars. Nope, cargo wagons. That's what they're called. And we're going to get open ones so we can haul steel. All right. So I'm thinking the 14 meter ones are going to be better for the, the length. These are open cars. We're going to go one, two, three, four, five of the open cars. That might be too many, but it's okay. Uh, and then we need the box cars as well. And it looks like these ones are the only ones... I was hoping not to use these bright blue ones for anything else, but it seems I'm going to have to use the bright blue ones. Yeah. Damn. Because I wanted that to be what my, my food train looks like, and that's it. But I don't have much of a choice because that's just the, car the current color of boxcars. Unless I wait until after 1998, in which case then... I can get the the other color, uh, so maybe I'll do that just for the just for the sake of doing so. I'll wait. Uh, but what I want from that is uh, we get this train right here, and what I want from this train 
is uh, a little bit different than what I've got from the other one. So we're going to take this train and we're going to bring it over to the depot, just like the other one is. Yeah, we're going to bring it to the depot, but um, we're also going to. Is he going to leave? He's not leaving. Why is he not leaving? Get to the depot. There we go. What I want from this train is we're going to get it to bring uh, the open hulls all the way over into this office so that I can start hauling steel from here and bringing it over there without having these guys have to go all the way over and do it. I can free up another connection from the other uh, line. And I also can make it to where these guys don't have to do this. This is silly. This guy is hauling two boxcars for 0 0.006 tons of plastics. Like that's a huge waste. That's a huge waste of fuel. And I hate every single part of that. But for some reason, they keep doing that. There's hardly any plastic here because I'm not making enough of it. Um, so it's like really slow. But like there's 50 tons of wait, there's 50 tons in here. Hang on. I am making enough. Why are you bringing it in such small quantities? That has to be my own settings, right? That's got to be a bug with my own settings here. Uh, hang on. What are we doing here? Um, Zernowski rule, Krasna industrial yard, train station, unload plastics, keep at 70%. I mean, there's nothing else I could really do there. Yeah, I, I can't set that any differently. Why are you picking up such a small quantity of it? You know, you're loading these three things. You unload these three things, these four things. You don't really need to unload steel there. Well, you do because that's what you've been doing. You be, you've been going over to the steel mill, picking up the steel and bringing it over there. But you're not going to do that anymore. Now it's going to be a responsibility of the other station to do that. So you don't have to do that anymore. But still, like this is, that is a really small amount of plastic when I've got a ton of it sitting right here, like 50 to be precise. 50 tons of it just sitting there, right? So this is what I want to see. Look at all this oil. And look at all these people processing the oil. And all the bitumen, which is filling up this tank now. <laughs> but it's there. And now it's being processed through here, I think. We can use priorities if we need to. So let's, uh... Go back to the underground. All right, so we have all the bitumen being used. And it can now go to this tank, which it is, again, going to this tank. And uh, we're exporting it, which is fantastic. We've been making lots of money doing that, aside from the part where we're wasting lots of money buying trains. <laughs> Look at the stupid budget. Aside from the part where we're making trains. Oh, one more thing. Um, foreign manpower I uh, I switched this office to using foreign manpower we've been using foreign manpower for like the last I don't know half year uh, this office is now getting its workers from the border and because uh, I just didn't have enough workers to go the other places and I wanted them to work other places so I shut this off temporarily so that I could have them work other places I think though based on the budget foreign labor was 40,000 rubles last month that's kind of pricey. You know, I think we could probably do our own. I think we could probably go back to our own people. So I'm going to say workers are now found uh, over here. And I will go ahead and turn this back on. And we'll have people working there now. Uh, but I was using foreign labor with the helicopters for a while. Are you not going to get yourself repaired? You're 22 years old. Here, we're, pay we're paying for these things. You might as well go all the way, right? There you go. Have fun getting replaced. <laughs> I guess. Uh, but we now have at least some fuel uh, with these helicopters being off. So there's still that. But now that I've got this built and it's processing and everything, I can go ahead and get my pipeline started. So uh, this pipeline would then go under here as far over as it can go, really. So say maybe here. And then from that point, I can go this way. And it's got to figure out where is it too long probably going to be too long too long right there so it's going to get too long gosh I would love to put it like right in here it's too long at right about there hmm okay well that sucks 
because I can't, oh, I can't put a pump right here then. And that's pretty straight. I don't think I can go any much more like direct angle there. So I'm going to have to put the pump over here. So underground pumping station. Uh, I don't think it matters which one we do. They have the same resource cost. They're just different the way they work. Um, why don't we add... Why don't we do the join one? That way, if we, if I ever, for some reason, want to sell fuel at the border, I can just combine it, right? Because the, the thing will... Uh, the thing will react that way. It'll, it'll combine the supply. So we'll put this, like, say, right here. All right, let's make sure that actually will reach. If it doesn't, then we'll have to... It does, right there, yep. So that pipe goes into there. And then from here, you go all the way out. And you can get to... All right, that's 414. You can go all up to, like, 572 or something like that before it cancels out right there so i'm thinking probably our pump can go right here so let's say this like there and then our underground pumping station can go right about here that seems fair right about here is fine as long as the road connects to it uh there there we go so pipe like that uh look we can keep it on the left on the side like if we just use the same side in every one then it's kind of like i don't know more organized or something right they can put it here instead. So the bitumen tanks, the bitumen pipes are always on the, the left side. And if we ever do fuel, maybe I'll have it always in the center or whatever. Like just, just to say, you know, just so I can look at it later and be like, yeah, look, I did it organized. People are proud of me. <laughs> uh, let's go all the way out about here. 550-ish is, is pretty good. 536. I really like to get closer to the road, but I have to go deeper. I don't really want to go deeper, but I can, I guess. We'll do it. We'll go a little bit lower. Just a little bit lower, about like that. Go this way. Pick it back up. Make sure it's connected. Looks pretty good. Can't really tell if it's connected, to be honest. It looks like it is. I'm going to say it is. Uh, I'll know later if I when I highlight it. Then tell me when it's too long. Right there. Okay, so right about in this area, we can go in and add another pump. Uh, again, we want to have it be a one that joins. Go about here with it, I think. Probably fine. Maybe we'll... Uh... Oops, well, that's not fine. <laughs> yeah, well, at least we can make a straight line now. Oh, you know what? It doesn't really matter, does it? Which, which one we go on to, right? Because, like, it's not like I can have a different supply pop into here. It's the same pump. So it really doesn't matter how we do it, does it? Well, I thought I was clever. It sounded clever at the time, you know? I think we'll just... Maybe I'll just cut this part out. You know, and you guys will be like, Oh, he is really clever. Yeah, I told you. I tried to tell you. I was smart. <laughs> Alright, we'll go about like that, I guess. Because who's going to see it underground anyway? <laughs> now I don't care, right? Uh, and then we'll we'll just go all the way out. Okay, one more pump needed. Damn. Okay, one more pump needed. So we'll go about... Where was it? We can go about to... Uh, yeah, we can go about here. Yeah, we can put it right on the road right there. That's fine. Right on the road right here. Underground. And we'll go right like this. Okay, and then this pipe connects there, and then from this one all the way out to here. The total cost of our pipeline is 3.2 million rubles worth of materials. We're going to use 19,000 work days, 448 tons of steel, over 1,700 tons of gravel. So we'll have to make more. I don't have that much. Uh, 58 tons of mechanical components and uh, over 400 tons of boards. But... On the plus side, uh, if you want to do some math, I'm not going to do it right now. But if you want to do some math, then here's some math. How much money worth of bitumen is currently in this tank? Like, how much is, like, pending export right now? And we're wasting valuable time by doing it with trucks, right? We're, we're resources using it with trucks. Using fuel, doing it with trucks, right? It's costing us all the time. would rather just do it through the pipeline. 
right? So how much money are we letting go here? So we have 924 tons of bitumen in that tank. And the current price of bitumen on the market to sell it is 4,800, over 4,800 rubles. 4,828 rubles per ton. I think it's going to pay for itself really quickly. Don't you think? I think it will. I think it'll pay for itself very, very fast. So we're going to let our people go ahead and do something about it. Uh, we have to connect all the roads, though. So here's the road. And here is a road that's already done. And road is there. There we go. And one more road is there. Cool. Rural people. Come on, hit this one. You guys can help us with that one. Uh, we'll have uh, our construction crews here. We'll hit this one, this one. I'll let the rural people help. That's good. Yeah, they can help us with all these things. That's what they're here for. You know, Zernowski can, uh, can go out here and do this. And we're about ready to take a look at Zernowski one more time. I know I, like, I was really focused on it for a long time, and then I got just completely hammered with uh, problem after problem after problem with uh, Charlevinsk. Right? New police station, new police, lots more cases, so many cases. All these police have so many cases. But as long as we're sending them to prison, very quickly indeed we are, and as long as they are reaching here and being rehabilitated, it will eventually solve itself. I did say it would take several years to do this, but look. See? More loyalty. Reducing crime. Or reducing criminality. Over here. Reducing criminality. More loyalty. Right? We're getting it done. Right? We are rehabilitating these people uh, very effectively, I might add. And uh, it's just a matter of time. Right? We just have to get as many cases done as we can. Uh, every once in a while, we'll go in here and say, hey, all the, all the light ones, we're just going to forget those. We can focus on the heavy crimes. Right? All these brand new cases, if they're not if they're not big major crimes, then we don't care about them as much, right? We let them go. We do this with, you know, these ones here are really low chance to, to succeed, it says. 19% chance. Maybe we forego that. We just say, hey, how about the ones that have high chances instead? We we'll go ahead and just focus on, like, just all the red ones, I guess. Yeah, these ones are 0%, but that's fine, right? So we just investigate as many as we can, and we forget until uh, until we're good to go. All right, take a look over here. We have a water well. That's done. Uh, the pipe is completed. Both pipes are completed. Fancy. And this building is done. Now, we're not delivering chemicals here yet. And uh, it looks to me like I, I don't have the all the stuff for the water done yet either. But like our water is really solid now. So I'm not worried about it at all. Uh, and because I'm not worried about it at all, uh, I'm going to go ahead and tell these guys to go to zero. And we're going to go to zero here too. Not 07, just 7. Just 0, I mean. Uh, we're just going to go like that. And, you know, we'll build this on our own time. But I'm really solid on water now because of these extra wells. And so I don't have anything to worry about just yet. The chemical truck here, I could say, hey, deliver it here and then go and deliver it there. I could give you a different a different route, right? So how about we load, we unload here. And we don't have to wait till unloaded. Just unload all your chemicals. And then you're going to come over and you're going to drop them off. Uh, here as well unload your chemicals and then you go around again yeah uh that that could just be your new route just so that you are dropping them off at both both locations there's no way you're going to there's no way we're going to use all of the chemicals in both of those places uh before it expires so like uh before we can get the chemicals wrapped around again and then we're doing really well with chemical production but we're also transporting those chemicals over over there. And we're also transporting the chemicals over into Zernowski too. So it's a little bit deceptive. I, I do need to get more workers over here. And I uh, just don't have enough, man. We're full on alcohol here, which is pretty nice. We've been doing some pretty dang good work on the alcohol, let me tell you. We're getting people happy. Look at this. Huh? 66% now. Average government loyalty is at 60%. Feeling pretty good. Uh... We had to buy a lot of people, so... <laughs> Last couple of videos, we had to... I paid a lot for a lot of people there, so... 60% um, have a television now. 
Not as effective as it could be. Crime is affecting now 14.8 thousand people. Crime is still ridiculous. Is it still hitting us at the source? Okay, that's not bad. Um, could be worse. Uh, okay, green numbers are good. Yeah. How about over here? Looks like we're fine-ish. And uh, could be better. Uh, I think we need more... <laughs> more orphanages man we do have a lot of educated people over here because they're right next to the university so maybe an orphanage right here i'm gonna add another orphanage i hate adding orphanages at this point i feel like every time i add an orphanage i'm just asking for more crime trouble crime trouble but um i'm gonna do it i'm gonna add another one right here uh now this doesn't have access to water supposedly yeah no water or sewer right there Ooh, we have water here no sewer well, that's no good. I'm going to have to add more water capacity. Good thing I got this set up, eh? Can add more water capacity. Uh, sewer capacity, though. That's no good. I'm not sure why I don't... It's just, just out of range, huh? Yeah, right there. Just a bit outside. Right there would be great. If I could somehow just get it to be right there. That that water connection just does not... Yeah, right there. Need flat terrain. Ugh. No. Come on. You jerk. All right, I'm going to win this by placing this in a different location. I'm going to place it over here. What do we got over here, huh? You got sewer, but no water. And heat. You got lots of plenty, plenty of heat. No water. Jeez, man. Well, that is no good. I'll have to figure out a place to put another orphanage, but I'm going to open up another orphanage. I mean, if I'm going to have water and sewer and stuff over here anyway, then I might as well get started on looking at this hill, right? Are we going to tear the hill down or we build the hill up? So many questions I have to answer, and I, uh, I just don't know the answers to those questions at the moment. What I do know, though, is I've solved... Have I solved the traffic problem? I think I solved the traffic problem. There's no lights anymore, right? And this issue, it doesn't look as clean. I admit it could be cleaner, but it's still good. It still works. Okay. And then now I want to see what happens if I do this. Just, just because. What happens if I do this? What I suspect happens is it's going to encourage vehicles to turn right here. And, uh... Potentially, I, I don't really know what, what it's going to do. <laughs> I guess I want to find out if anyone ever turns right onto this road to go on this one-way street here. But maybe it'll work out. Maybe it'll be fine. Maybe I can just do... Maybe, what, what happens if I do this? What does this do to the whole traffic paradigm in this area? There's a right-hand turn. See, there's a couple turns there. But maybe that'll maybe everything will just flow better ha by having it be two way. I don't know. I guess we'll have to find out as it uh, as it plays out. But we're gonna have a pipeline, guys. A an oil slash bitumen pipeline is gonna get built. That's the next project to help keep my budget up, keep my money up. It's so it's fluctuated so much in just this video. My money has fluctuated so much. <laughs> Look at this bullshit. <laughs> I've got $3 million worth of vehicle imports. What just happened? <laughs> I don't know. Oh, it's the trains, right? Yeah, I brought the trains in. I have to replace them with all the passenger cars, right? You need to go get me passenger cars. Bring them in here. Go get the passenger wagons. Uh -huh. And uh, bring them back over here, please. Uh, go. And then you... I hate how long you are, man. 37 meters. Uh, do I let you get repaired right now? I feel like that's what I do. I let you get repaired, I think. Just sit here and repair you. Yeah, I'm just going to say allow for repair. Don't force repair. I'm going to say... I don't know, I'm just going to say repair. I don't know. We'll keep this thing... like get, Make it brand new before we send it on its way. Kind of thing. Uh, but I need to get those blue trains to kind of go around. I'll get them reset on their routes to go around everywhere. And then uh, 
Hopefully we'll get passengers moving again. I don't think there's going to be a problem anymore. I do need to get my track builders to come out and do this here. So track builders, make your way over here to get rid of this stupid crossing, please. And then uh, if you could kindly add yet another crossing to your to your schedule, I'd appreciate it. <laughs> get over there and do that. All right, guys. I'm going to leave you here. I think this has been a fun day. I think there's there was definitely some problems. Oh, we had some problems and we still do. The most of our problems now are crime related, right? We're at 25,000 people. All of my Nipro flats are full and we are going to now see that we are starting to accumulate people who are 21 without a flat. We have 134 prisoners. Respect. And only still less than half our population has a higher education. So I really should focus on that. And I am. I'm allowing students in here. All right. We really need to get more students in here. I still don't understand why it's like a one to one ratio on the party officials for this. I, I it's, it's a travesty. It's an absolute disgrace. I say we're going to need another big university. I don't know. Like they need to get on the bus and travel over here to go to this school instead. You know? I have no idea. Let's just get manufacturing aluminum just to say we did it. And then uh, over here, I mean, advertisement campaign in Soviet countries. Uh, we do have the tourist visa done for the for the Soviet countries now. So I guess I can do an advertisement campaign. But I mean, they're going to come over here and just blah. I don't, I don't know about that. I don't, know if I'm I don't know if I'm ready for tourists yet. I don't think so. We have a really low rating anyway. So, you know. I don't know if I'm ready to take them on, but in any case, guys, I'm going to leave you here. Thanks for watching. Uh, it's disorganized as hell. I appreciate you watching anyway, though. I hope you guys will come back for the next one. Uh, as, far, as far as what we're going to do in the next one, I mean, I don't know. Uh, we still have things to correct, so I'll keep doing that. And um, I think I'm going to expand a little bit of housing in, Cer in Cernakova so I can get some more people over here. And I would really like to touch base again with Cernoski and get this area done because this is just going to add more people in this area because this area really does need people it, it's got so many workplaces and not nearly enough people to work there so we need more people over here so i'll probably look at that too looks like our giant uh underground power cable is getting worked on too so we'll touch base with zernowski next time too okay thanks for watching we'll see ya bye bye